Hi guys! I'm going to be showing you the recipe I posted today, which is beet chips. So if you're feeling a little intimidated on how to slice beets, I'll show you. It's not that hard. So I've got these two types of beets, the red, more regular, normal beets, and then I have these golden beets just to give more variety of antioxidants. Um, they taste pretty much the same, but this one has uh, more of an earthy flavor usually. So we're going to just mix them up and see how they do. I was going to also cook the leaves, but as you can see, they're kind of nasty, kind of wilted. So instead of giving myself food poisoning, which I've done before, trying to not throw food away, I'm going to chop these off and throw them in my compost bin. And as you can see, they're pretty dirty. You know, they're root vegetables. So I'm gonna give them a good scrub in some cold water and then we'll be ready to go on the cutting board. And I'm gonna be cutting them using a really sharp knife so that I can be super careful and not cut my fingers. And I'll show you, I'll be cutting the ends off. <laughs> And I'm leaving the skins on, so you can kind of see that darker part is still there. Um, you can peel this off if you want, um, especially if you're not used to beets, because the skin is a little more bitter. But since I'm slicing them really thinly, it's not really going to make that big of a difference, and it takes a really long time to peel um, to get everything, all the skin off. So I'm just going to use them the way they are. Gonna try out this butter flavored coconut oil. Also, I'm taking off my ring because it will turn red. So these are mine fresh out of the oven. It took about 14 minutes, maybe a little longer than yours might because I'm using a stone instead of metal, but um, you can try different lengths. And obviously the slices that are thinner cook faster and there's a little crisp to them. The ones that are thicker aren't going to be as crispy, but that's okay with me. 